Good morning, everybody. This morning video is meant for all lovers of English, those who are willing to speak English confidently. Friends, we are going to talk about techniques of speaking English. Like any other language, you must understand that the technique and skills of learning language is almost the same for all the different languages. So far as English is concerned, the technique of speaking English, like all other skills, you can improve your spoken English or speaking ability just by following the regular practice of the techniques of listening, then imitating, reading, reflecting, preparing to speak, and then practicing and day-to-day -day real life conversation. So friends, why should we emphasize upon the need of the first very skill that is listening? Try to prepare yourself to listen to any English talk, whether it is an English conversation or whether it is English speech or whether it is an English audio, whether it is a YouTube video. Try to listen more to these situations where you can have exposure to spoken English, I mean, content such as listening to your teachers teaching English in the classroom, listening to YouTube channels, listening to the great speeches given by the people, listening to uh, your, I mean, friends in the real life conversation. But then the problem starts that actually what is the skill called listening? Listening is not hearing. If you are hearing any conversation or if you are hearing an audio, it doesn't mean that you are trying to comprehend what is being spoken to. So when you are listening, that means you are giving an intent att attention on what is being spoken, getting idea about what words and new phrases are coming to the content and trying to comprehend why what is being spoken in front of you. The, therefore, the second important part of the skill and technique of spoken English is imitating. Try to copy, emulate what the others have tried. Say, for example, if somebody says there is no denying the fact that English is an international language, try to speak the same sentence two, two times, three times, as many times as you can, that there is no denying the fact that English is a very popular language. So try to imitate some of the statements, some of the dialects, some of the sentences spoken by good speakers. Then try to emulate some of the good behaviors such as intonation, stress, where to put a stress on, on a, any, I mean, word. So, say, for example, if you are saying so far as this matter is concerned, so far as, so the stress is so far as, so far as this matter is concerned, there is nothing wrong about listening to good English content. In this similar way, it is very important to read. What does read means? What is reading? Apart from listening, reading is not simply reading the content. Reading is trying to comprehend the meaning of the lines, the meaning of the words and phrases written in a content or spoken in a content. So reading is basically comprehending. Reading skill, you must have seen that various reading skills are being given in competitive exams where you have to read a passage and questions are based on that passage. That means while you are reading, you are doing three things at the time. First one, you are trying to screen the words and phrases used in that and try to comprehend the meaning. Then you are trying to scan the difficult words. So you are diagnosing the ideas, the diagnosing the ideas, screening the ideas, and then third one is scheming, trying to, I mean, remove those words and phrases and those contents which are not related to the question. That is what we call it scheming. So screening, scanning, and scheming are the three important, I mean, uh, methods or techniques of reading or rather you can say comprehending passes. Then comes reflecting. Whenever you listen to any English content or any conversation or any speech, try to reflect what are the things and ideas that really appeals to your mind and how you can interpret this in your own ideas. So reflection is interpreting the ideas and comprehending it in your own way.
It is not necessary that what the speaker has said, you will say the same thing. You may interpret it in the manner you love or you like or you understand. Then comes prepare. After reflection, preparation of any kind of language, that means knowledge of tense, knowledge of certain grammatical items, noun, pronoun, verbs, use of, uh, I mean, subject for agreement. And there are different grammatical structures that you need to prepare for speaking because without them, without those tools, you cannot speak English. So you have to prepare those, I mean, uh, English materials or English grammatical items in order to make yourself confident in speaking English. Then comes speaking. Unless you speak, all these techniques will be useless. So when you prepare, when you emulate, when you listen, try to speak as spontaneously at the time when it is required in the real life conversation. Try to listen to your friends, I mean, continuing English conversation. Try to listen to teachers speaking and teaching English. Try to listen to any English audio that if you get or come across. And then the most important thing is to practice it every day. Practice five to 10 minutes of speech. Try to speak in front of the mirror or among your friends in the real life situation. And most important thing, when we are listening to anybody or any English content, listening allows you to pick up new words and phrases. So try to learn at least five to six new words and phrases every day that will add your vocabulary and that will make you capable of responding to a conversation and giving answer to the question. Then try to understand pronunciation. When you're listening more and more frequently to English conversation, you are coming across, you are getting exposed to the very important thing that is pronunciation, how to spell out words, how to pronounce the word, how to, I mean, keep certain alphabet silent while speaking. So the technique of pronunciation also gets, I mean, uh, mastered at the time when you are listening. And most important that you must give importance to real life conversation with your friend. Try to listen to real life dialogues, real life conversation among your friends, relatives and your teachers and try to emulate, try to copy them in your own way. Thank you. Have a nice day. We will talk about other techniques of listening and other important things in the next video. Thank you.